A Louisville chef has turned breakfast into an all-day thing with a sprinkle of flavor and a dash of detail. He's opened a new restaurant in St. Matthews. Colin Mayfield explains how Darnell Ferguson used food to turn his life around. I told my mom every single day I'll never come back home unless I have a business or I'm doing something. 28-year-old Darnell Ferguson has made it his mission to keep that promise. The executive chef at Super Chefs refined his talent through what he says was hell and high water. You went from being on top of the world right. to going home and having a house with 13 police officers inside of it waiting for you to get there. Raised in Columbus, Ohio, Ferguson left home after studying at a vocational school for the culinary arts. He began his culinary education at Sullivan University, but due to financial pressures, turned to selling drugs. And just three months after graduation, he was arrested on drug charges and eventually ended up homeless. For me, God didn't wait a long time to change it. It was like a drastic. Determined to keep that promise to his mom, he started to change his life. Ferguson started working as a chef in Louisville, creating ideas for restaurants which attracted the attention of others. A guy comes up to me who knew me and was like, man, I heard what happened with your restaurant and everything. And he's like, why don't you rent my space off for me while I'm closed? With the help of his friends, Ferguson opened four pop-up breakfast restaurants here in Louisville. In three months, three other restaurants asked us to do our same concept inside there. So we were turning down restaurants left and right. He then decided to open his first Super Chef's restaurant in Columbus in 2013, with a second location coming in 2014, and the third one opened in Louisville this year. No one's ever seen an attention to detail to breakfast. It's not been done yet. It was very good. A unique kind of twist on it with the um, grit cakes underneath. Customers we spoke with raved about the food, a pride point for Ferguson. But for this chef, it's not the food that defines him. It's the journey. I didn't have to change. Like, people will accept you when it's genuine. I'm Colin Mayfield, WLKY News. Ferguson doesn't want to speculate about opening more restaurants. He said for the time being, they'll work on building their brand and 